Community Foundation for Southeastern Michigan was formed in 1985 to improve the lives of all who live and work in the seven counties of Southeast Michigan. We're really about connecting those who care with the causes that matter to them. We are of this community. We want to do what's right for this community. And so we have to think very clearly about what our core values are. Impact. Integrity. Collaboration. Leadership. 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 We're about permanence. Professionalism. Partnerships and collaborations at every level. From day one, it was all about people. It's like a family. And we all believe in it. We all raise money to help it. We work with everybody, and we hope that they all want to work with us. I like to think about the foundation as being a catalytic event. It's a place for ideas. They've gotten a lot of bang for the buck. The Community Foundation is a hell of a good organization. I know you can use that wherever you like. It all started when John Marshall of the Kresge Foundation and Ted Taylor were talking with many people, including me, together with Joe Hudson and Gil Hudson, about why there wasn't a community foundation in the Detroit metropolitan area. Not only did uh, Southeast Michigan not have one, it was the largest metropolitan area in the country not to have one. The time had come for Detroit, like others, to really create a repository and an endowment for not only present but future needs of the community. Dottie wrote a white paper, I wrote a white paper, and we went to work. In um, 1984, I got a call from Joe Hudson. I forgotten who asked me to go on the board. It probably was Joe Hudson. I was asked by Joe Hudson. Joe Hudson called me and uh, said, Damon, uh, we're going to set up uh, the Community Foundation, and uh, I'd like for you to be one of the founding members. And uh, the rest is history. I was the founding chair in 1984, and um, I couldn't work my way out of the job for 19 years. Certainly one of his impressive accomplishments was to hire Miriam Noland away from Minneapolis. She wanted to move south uh, to, to a good area. We had a shoebox, uh, no office, and we didn't have much time to prove ourselves. I thought it was a great challenge. From the beginning, Mayor Nolan and Joe Hudson wanted a cross-section of people on this board. We needed to represent the diversity of the community, the geographic diversity, the ethnic, uh, religious, uh, business, labor. Men and women of high integrity from all walks of life. And believe me, the board really works. Every trustee serves on at least one committee. Some serve on two or three committees. They served on the executive committee, the governance committee, development committee, investment distribution committee, governance and nominating committee, the executive committee, program committee, review, nominating committee, the presidency financial. search committee. I can't even recall all the committees, but I've had an opportunity to get a lot of exposure through the years. Frankly, donors wanted to help. They came out of the woodwork. We reached out to the corporate community. We reached out to significant individuals. We offered $5 million. That, I think, constituted the largest startup grant to any community foundation anywhere. We uh, got off to a good, uh, fast start, and we've had quite a successful 25 years. You know, the truth is, we all live in our own little worlds. You know, uh, many of the people who want to do good and have the resources to do good are not necessarily connected to the places where the good needs to be done. Somehow the Community Foundation has found a way to do that. It starts with being accessible. We fund everything. Arts and culture, human services, education, workforce development regional uh, economic development. From youth to senior citizens, to people who are trying to become uh, employable again. As our corpus grew from the money that we were raising, we began partnering with other foundations. 
leveraging our money, putting the deals together so that there was much more money and much more clout, more muscle. We call them special projects. They're really projects that will address issues uh, that are of uh, great significance to the community. They started somewhat modestly, but if you look at our special projects, there is a thread in all of them of being accessible, making the community accessible to all. For example, the Greenways Initiative, 100 miles of greenways have now been put in place. Recreational connecting points between communities within the Seven County region. It's really about building community and breaking down the, the geographic boundaries uh, that we have in this region. We've now done more than 37 special projects bringing into the community uh, over $300 million that we have granted out. For over 16 years, we have been helping the nonprofit sector learn about endowment. First through the Van Dusen Endowment Challenge, which was really a partnership with our friends at the Kresge Foundation. Over the six years that it ran, it raised 60 million of new dollars for endowments for 38 nonprofit agencies in Detroit. And when you see those who have met the um, uh, challenge grants, and for the first time they can have an endowment where there's nothing like it. But we didn't stop there. We now have something called Touch the Future. We're here to talk about Touch the Future. Which is to help organizations build plan gifts as a part of their endowment. Nonprofits from town would have their key people come in and would learn about plan giving and the techniques. And help the organization. That was a hugely successful program. Over a quarter of a billion dollars of plan giving went to all of those organizations in town who participated in the planning sessions. And I think the Community Foundation can claim that it has really made a good beginning in this community, but we can't stop.